Listen to the bass, it's the one on the bottom where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus moans and groans with the big to do and the old cow just goes moo. The dogs and the cats, they take up the middle where the honeybee hums and the cricket fiddles, the donkey brays and the pony neighs and the old gray badger sighs. Oh, And the hoot owl cries over everything, and the blackbird disagrees. Singing in the nighttime, singing in the day, and the little dog quacks, and he's on his way, and the otter doesn't have much to say, and the porcupine talks to himself. It's a simple song, a long song everywhere by the ox and the fox and the grizzly bear and the grumpy alligator and the hawk above, the sly old weasel and the turtle dove. a fantastic start. Did you notice we're surrounded? <laughs> I think we're going to have surround sound. So welcome to the last Starlight Tea concert of this season. We are so glad that you are here, whether in person or through the live stream. I'm Jenny Mackey, chair of the Starlight Tea concert series, and I would like to ask a quick question. Is there anyone here who has been to all of our Starlight Tea concerts this season? If so, raise your hand. Anyone who's been to all of them? Oh, I see a couple hands. All right. Thanks for being faithful. How many missed only one? Oh, how many are here for the first time? Oh, welcome. We're so glad to have you. So I am delighted to announce the concerts in our 2024-25 season. And you each, you should have received one of these flyers. And if you look on the back, you notice our concert schedule for next year, so you can put it on your calendars. And I won't take time to read through it right now. You can read it on your own. If you did not get one, um, pick one up in the back of the sanctuary after the concert. Secondly, these concert would, concerts would not be possible without the donations from sponsors of the series. The flyer contains the names of the sponsors, and if you would like to be among them for next year, there is a form on the back here that you can submit to us. There's a podium at the front and the rear doors for you to put your contributions in. Um, we are collecting money tonight that will go to this choir. So I know some of you are followers of the Mennonite Children's Choir. And do not make the checks payable. Rosemary Blessing told me to tell you this. Do not make the checks payable to the Mennonite Children's Choir tonight. You should make it payable to Lancaster Church of the Brethren and put Starlight Tea in it. And we will put those monies into the money that we are giving to the choir to do this concert. And those of you who are at home, you can mail your contribution to Lancaster Church of the Brethren and mark it for the Starlight Tea. We appreciate your donations because this is what allows us to have such quality programs for the community. The program that has Sing on it has been supplied by the Mennonite Children's Choir and it's a program they use for the entire season. 
So you're going to notice that not all of the pieces are going to be performed tonight. So don't be thrown when you see that, that something is not being done. Um, this is called a starlight tea. And so uh, immediately following the concert, if you would join us at the other end of the building in what's called our worship and events center, you just go straight down the hall. You'll, you can follow the people. We have uh, iced tea and water and lemonade and cookies for uh, after the concert. And hopefully you can come and mingle with all of our musicians and tell them what a great job they did. There is an elevator down the hall. Watch for the signs if that would help you. I also want to thank the Forshas and their helpers for organizing the tea and cookies tonight. Now let me tell you something about the Mennonite Children's Choir for those of you who are not familiar with them. It is a community choral arts program serving more than 150 children and youth in kindergarten through grade 12. Now tonight, only the middle and high school age children are going to perform for this concert, so you won't see the youngest ones. That translates into 85 youth here tonight representing nearly 55 congregations, 45 schools, and 12 denominations. Singers develop a rich musical repertoire from around the world and across time while being equipped for a lifetime of service to the church and community. In other words, we're looking at the future here, the future of music. The mission of MCCL is training children and youth to glorify Jesus Christ through excellent choral singing. And are you as excited as me to hear them perform tonight? Yeah, so let's get on with it. Now Don Fitzke, pastor of worship at this church, will offer his blessing for our concert and will welcome our guest musicians. I do wanna add my words of welcome to Jenny's words of welcome. Our bulletin on Sunday mornings each week reminds us, guided by the Bible and informed by our Anabaptist heritage, we seek to love and follow Jesus, serve our community and world, and invite others to experience peace with God and each other. If you don't currently have a church family that you're a part of, we invite you to come and help us do those things. Love and follow Jesus, serve our community and world, and work toward peace with God and others. Please pray with me. God, we ask your blessing upon this gathering this evening. We thank you for the gifts of the young people who will sing for us and for those who are helping them to develop their musical gifts. We pray that each of us might be encouraged by the words and melodies and harmonies that we hear this evening and that we'll go from this place refreshed and inspired to love and follow Jesus, serve our community and world, and work toward peace with God and others. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.
The next two pieces are full of hope and comfort. He Shall Feed His Flock is from Handel's famous oratorio, Messiah. Words from Isaiah and Matthew speak of Jesus being a kind shepherd who cares for his sheep and the one who gives rest to heavy hearts. In the gospel song, The Storm is Passing Over, we remember that everyone experiences times of anxiety and darkness. Yet, we urge our souls to have courage. The morning light appears and we give thanks to God.
We now want to invite you to join us in singing. As uh, Again, we're going to do a song called Marvelous. And we'll teach you the soprano part, the alto part, the tenor, and then the bass. You can sing along with me and the choir as we teach each of those, and then we'll layer them all together. Here's the first part. He has done marvelous, he has done marvelous things. Praise the Lord. Try it with us. He has done marvelous, he has done marvelous things. Praise the Lord. One more time. Part. Marvelous, 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 marvelous things. Praise the Lord. Sing it with us. More marvelous. Marvelous, 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 marvelous things. Praise the Lord. Do that one more time. Part. He's done marvelous. He's done marvelous. Praise the Lord. Sing it with us. He's done marvelous. He's done marvelous. Praise the Lord. One more time. goes like this. He has done marvelous things. Praise the Lord. Try it with us. He has done marvelous things. Praise the Lord. One more time. He He has done marvelous, he has done marvelous things. Praise the Lord. One more time, just sopranos. He has done marvelous, he has done marvelous things. Praise the Lord. We're going to add the altos. He marvelous, marvelous, he marvelous, marvelous things. Praise the Lord.
going to invite three of our singers to come forward for an interview. And as they come forward, I just want to make one note that our gospel trio, who is typically at our spring concert series, we have a pianist, a keyboardist, and a drummer. The trio tonight is at McCaskey Gospel Choir's concert. So they are not with us, and so we are grateful for Jonathan Schoff filling in with our gospel pieces, um, then along with our regular accompanist, Carrie Warner. Welcome. All right. Can you please sh let's share your name with us, your grade, how many years you have sung in MCCL, and what school you go to? Um, my name is Arturo. Uh, I go to McCaskey High School. I am a junior, and I've sung in the choir for 12 years. My name is Colette Carlson. I'm in eighth grade. I've been singing with MCCL for nine years, and I go to Lancaster Mennonite School. My name is Jesse Livingood. I am homeschooled, and I have been in MCCL for six years. What is one way that you have grown as a singer, as a musician, or as a community member through singing in choir? Um, personally, me, I think being comfortable in my own voice is really important, um, and vocal coaching really helped me with that, uh, finding my uh, most confident sound in my singing, so yeah. Um, one way I've grown through singing in MCCL is by listening to other people and just like locking in each sound that we sing. I also have learned to help blend my voice with others while I sing. This semester, what is one song that is meaningful to you? One song that is very meaningful to me is Oh Love by Elaine Hagenberg. I really love uh, Elaine Hagenberg because she is just a very amazing composer and all of her other songs are really great as well. Um, one song that I really enjoyed this semester is Goliath because I sang it when I was in like third grade and it's just really fun and I just love that song. I also like Goliath because of all the choreography and also two of my brothers are Goliath. <laughs> Thank you so much, Arturo, Colette, and Jesse. At this point, the chamber choir, the high schoolers, will be sharing a set that opens with Salmo 150 by Brazilian composer Hernani Aguiar. The text from Psalm 150 invites everyone and everything to praise God. It is beautifully set to the rhythms of Latin American culture from where the composer is from. After that, the men's ensemble will sing a piece that comes from Psalm 142. As the deer pants for water, so my soul longeth for you. We will end the set with Do Lord, which is a spiritual. Spirituals come out of a time of slavery and were a way to express hope and yearning during trial and tribulations. The song is a prayer. Lord, remember me in this difficult journey that I am having to walk. Thank you. 
Our next piece, Jesus Has Done So Much For Me, is on page seven in your program, and we invite you to join with us on the course when I cue you in. So oh. 
to introduce the next piece, I am going to read what the composer, Elaine Hagenberg, wrote about it. O Love was inspired by the words of Scottish minister George Matheson in 1882. When he was blinded at the age of 19, his fiance called off their engagement and his sister cared for him as he endured new challenges. Years later, on the eve of his sister's wedding, he faced the painful reminder of his own heartache and loss as he penned the words to this hymn. Given a fresh melody, this setting for choir uses hopeful ascending lines representing renewed faith. The lingering dissonances remind us of past heartache. The beautiful promise remains, mourn shall tearless be.
are preparing to head into our last piece of the evening. But before we do that, just want to take a moment to share just a few small things. The first being, this is MCCL's 25th year anniversary. So all of the music that you are hearing tonight comes from the past 25 years of our repertoire, which mean any of the alumni who are in the audience recognize pieces. And so when I'm done speaking, any alumni are welcome to come up. I know a lot of our college people are still out of town, but we have a couple in town. If you are an alumni, come on up for Praise His Holy Name. In on stage here, um, we have singers that represent so many churches and denominations and schools, as was shared earlier. We have 55 school or 55 congregations, 45 schools, and 12 denominations. Go ahead, raise your hand if you attend public school. Yeah, raise your hand really high if you attend private school. Raise your hand high if you're homeschooled or cyber schooled. So we really come from so many communities. Do you have to be Mennonite to sing in the Mennonite Children's Choir of Lancaster? No, no absolutely not. We represent 12 denominations. So if you are here and you know somebody for whom just that choral spirit would be good for the soul, would be good for the learning journey, would be for good for just holistic um, growth, we invite you to be in touch with us on page 17 in your bulletin or your program. We have information about join, uh, visiting evening, join the song, visiting a rehearsal in two Tuesday evenings. So feel free to sign up or tell someone about that. Or reach out to us regarding an audition for our performing choirs, which you're seeing two of tonight. Or we also have classes that are non-audition. They are smaller commitments. They're eight weeks each semester. So be in touch if there is if you have any questions in, or interest in learning a little bit more about MCCL. So at this point, we invite any alumni who are present um, of any age to come on forward as we end our program with Praise His Holy Name.
Thank you so much for coming. And parents who are here, we are going to file our singers off to the room where the snacks and the treats and the tea are, and you may meet your family members there. Thank you again to everyone for coming.